Hi, I'm Jessie Sinclair. I'm the Invertebrate Conservation Coordinator at Zoos Victoria. Today we're on Watchabolic Country in the Wimmera in Western Victoria. The golden ray blue butterfly is endemic to Victoria. It's only found in this area and it has the most amazing upper side to the wings. Although small, it has golden bands running through the wings with a um, beautiful purpley blue colour. This butterfly only feeds on one plant. It's the creeping boobiella, Myoporum parvifolium, and it will lay its eggs, it will feed from the nectar from the flowers, and the caterpillars only eat this one plant. The golden ray blue is now listed as endangered, and that's mainly due to historical land use changes. Uh, the Wimmera is a really important uh, food production area and because of that a lot of the remnant habitat has contracted. These days creeping Bubiella, the plant is fairly much only found around the ephemeral salt lake systems and along the Wimmera River. So this year has been a busy year for the Golden Raid Blue. We spent winter um, up here working in the rain, cold weather, planting plants. So we planted close to two and a half thousand plants into the region to support habitat for the golden ray blue, but we also um, distributed pretty much the same amount to communities, schools, um, interested landowners um, have all taken some of those plants to help create their bits of habitat for this special butterfly. Delco Gringa Native Nursery have been fantastic for the Golden Ray Blue project. They went out and sourced cuttings from plants across the region that are known to support butterfly populations. And they're the cuttings that they use to then propagate plants that we've used in our revegetation project. The plant is actually a really nice plant um, to see in the landscape or even in your garden. It's a prostrate creeping plant, only grows on the ground. It has um, really lush, small green leaves. And then over summer, for the whole of summer, it's covered in little white star-shaped flowers that are amazing nectar resource for all sorts of invertebrates and animals in the area that rely on remnant habitat for survival. We're seeing lots of beetles, lots of bees, lots and lots of ants are using the um, plants as well as a lot of different butterflies. Little grass blues are coming through here, little grass yellows, common browns, painted ladies. It is a lot of different animals and in particular invertebrates are using these plants. Spotting the golden ray blue can be hard. Its main flight period is in December, but you, it will fly from November all the way through to February. It can be hard to um, see the difference between a golden ray blue and a grass blue but the grass blue is a lot smaller. It will flit around a lot quicker. The underside of their wings is just a really, um, quite a plain colour, but then if you look closely, it has a lace pattern to it. The golden ray blue underside of the wings have these um, just really simple bands across both wings. And then the upper side of the wings can be quite an obvious difference between the golden ray and the grass blue. Golden rays have the beautiful golden ray markings in them, and the grass blue are a more uniform colour. I love how the funds for this project were raised. It was through our Totes for Wildlife campaign through Zoos Victoria. So people who would visit the zoos, any of our four zoos, if they buy one of our tote bags, it directly funds a conservation campaign. Those people lucky enough to live in the Wimmera can really help this butterfly. They can plant the plant in their own backyards, create habitat where they live, or if they're lucky enough to have these lakeside habitats, they can help regenerate them to look like this.